Sprenger. Well, yeah, I don't think anybody's going to spell that right after hearing me say it, but it's easy to find you. F-O-N.com. <laughs> That's easy as hell. And you're over at Spain man, for the creating opportunities for everybody in the world to have Wi-Fi everywhere. <laughs> and because we have wasted Wi-Fi, you're really the ultimate of the sharing economy, right? So people who have Wi-Fi, they're not using it. They could have it for somebody else who can't get it or doesn't have money for it. And, 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 and I mean, it's a beautiful concept. Why don't you wear a robe and be a priest or something like this? <laughs> we have, we have, we have a, obviously a bit of a, a gene of sharing and a gene <laughs> of helping people. So uh, I, I don't think we need a priest's rope, but uh, we, we're, I'm happy and satisfied with satisfied customers. <laughs> yeah, but a bunch of your customers don't even pay. pay. You know, so it's really, you're tied in with a lot of the providers who drive internet access all over the world, you know, big telecom companies kind of thing, right? And they hook you onto their service where the people, you know, the stuff they're not using, you, you as a customer are getting priority to use the service, but what you're not, it's going out to other people who could use it for free, right? Yeah, well, it's, I mean, basically what we did is, and when we started 10 years ago, it's, yeah. it was, I'd say it was a pioneer of the sharing economy. We didn't know the word back then. <laughs> it came afterwards and suddenly we're like, yeah, so the definition is pretty good for us as well. But it's not so much sharing, it's kind of like sharing, air condition right it's like right. you share but you don't give anything up and um, who would who minds if somebody enjoys the same temperature in a exactly. cafe or at your home uh, when 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 you're hot and you have the ac on it's the same thing with wi-fi basically what we say is look you share your wi-fi you don't give anything up you share it with people when you don't use it when you do use it we do prioritize your own traffic wow. i said the idea is to get internet access to the people who want to get internet access when they don't have it that could be sometimes faster then our internet access could be cheaper, more affordable, free, uh, and could just be available. Right. Sometimes it's not available. Well, that's a, but more importantly, man, if I'm in your group, you know, and I give my extra, <laughs> you know, Wi-Fi I'm not using for other people to use, I could then go anywhere in the world practically and use Wi-Fi for free because now I'm a member, right? <laughs> and I gave at the country club or whatever the heck it is. Yeah. You share a little bit and you gain a lot. <laughs> it comes back to you, right? This isn't just all one way, right? It's you getting the stuff back. Exactly. It's refreshing when we get emails as well from, from our customers, from people that, you know, that go from the U.S., go to Italy and say, wow. Was <laughs> <laughs> well, right. I was just in Spain, right? And, 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 and they're right. Then that would have been great for me. <laughs> right? I mean, look. It depends as well on, we, we have this number of uh, 19 million, that, that's it's a hard number to grasp, right, in the, in the oh. age of, but when you walk through the street of Paris and you look for a phone signal, you would know what it means. It wow, means no every kidding. Every second household. Wow. Every second block that you walk by, you find a phone signal. Wow. And you don't even have to know how to speak French to do it, right? No, no, no. <laughs> English as well, but it helps. <laughs> so if the snobby French won't help you, it doesn't matter. You got it right there. <laughs> no, actually, what will help you is we have connection managers on your on the phone, so you connect automatically. So basically, you can tap on your phone and just connect seamlessly. Well, another thing what's interesting, your other service you tell me about that helps small business with customers, like coffee shops or whatever, that, that are, you know, people come in and use the internet. So if they're using yours, the, the small business could keep track and, and get data about their uh, people they're using there. And, and, and that becomes a valuable asset. It's the same idea. The idea is that Wi Fi, the way Wi Fi is configured, has been configured, is stupid. <laughs> it's like you get a password and the password is for yourself and ideally it has 17 digits and you never know it you can't share right yes right so as an individual you're okay to share as a shop owner you're more okay to share wow you yes well you want maybe you want to make it a little bit easier than you know here's my 17 digits password right and them to log in with facebook with google with whatever they want to log in and then you want to as a shop owner you want to Maybe find out a little bit about your customer. Yeah. Well, it's easy to satisfy them. I mean, you you got to know. Yeah. And you give everybody access, and it's a bit of a give and take. And then you know you can show your customers what you want them to show. Right. right. So basically, let's put it this way: what we what we do is we take the large coffee shop experience, mm -hmm. like a Starbucks, 
to the small coffee shops who can't really run an uh, IT department. Right. right? So we, we, we take that experience, we improve it a little bit because we've been doing Wi-Fi for a long time, <laughs> and we make it very easy for the shop owner to customize his experience, to find something out about customers, and for the customers to log out. Uh, no, it's brilliant. You know, and coffee shops are popping up like mushrooms, man, uh, all over. And non-big ones, too. I mean, you uh, know... Every- it's not just coffee shops. It's dentists. It's car mechanics. Oh, right. Yes, everybody wants Wi-Fi. Everybody who wants... It was somebody to walk through the door and sit there as a customer and say, how do I connect? Oh, that's me, boy, because I, 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 I could work anywhere, and I'd rather be somewhere else than home doing it. So. <laughs> you want to you watch your Netflix videos? Right. <laughs> I, I, I'm more greedy than that. I just want to work. I want to do something. <laughs> well, Ed, I think it's a wonderful and genius thing you're doing, and, and your heart must feel good because you're helping people, too, and, and using you know, you know, capitalism to do good. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. We've, we've been on the right side of the capitalism. Yeah, we're, what could we're be better than that? You're not asking for donations. You're you're giving donations. So it's FON.com. And you can go there to see if it's in your neighborhood soon, right? That's right. Exactly. Right. We're definitely working on it. Great. Thank you, Alex. Take care.